this morning. So, <clears throat> as the famous Tiger Woods said, hello world. Headed to the Trophy Club in Dallas, Texas for my first event as a pro. Um, this is the Fairway Golf Tour and uh, it is handicap based. So that's, that's something. Uh, I'll be playing in the Southern Texas PGA here in a couple weeks. And that is just straight up scratch. Doesn't matter what your handicap is. Uh, definitely gonna be more of a challenge to um, do well there. But back to today. Um, here's, here's what I'm focused on is the last round I played out at uh, Lost Creek was just feeling like I'm just doing a three-quarter swing. Because on video, it's a full swing. But it feels like a three-quarter swing. So I've been over-swinging. Um, so that's one of the swing key, swing keys. Yeah, it's actually have the right way to say it. Um, that is uh, one of the, the keys that I'm using. And the other one is just not to get ahead of myself. And like I said in the video, uh, when I played with West Shore Jr., play the ball in front of you. Play that next shot. If you hit a bad shot and it goes somewhere, pros do it too. Go find it, hit it again, be smart. Don't try and pull off the hero shot, right? So if I'm, if I've got a tree in front of me, and I could put a, a 40 yard draw on it or a 40 yard fade, let's chip it out. Simple stuff, right? So um, I'm going to attempt to get as much on video as I can. I've not played in this tournament before, so it's probably going to be all about who I get paired with and how cool they are. Um, oh, did I mention, right now, it's 65 degrees. When I tee off, it's supposed to be 40. Stoked about that. And it's supposed to stay right in that 40 range. So, um, I've got my heated vest, my pullover, I got my, uh, <clears throat> my stocking hat. So, game on.
and cut it up in bite-sized chunks. Um, something from the golf course just to tide me over so I don't get <clears throat> I don't get the uh, itch to get something horrible from my body like a sausage wrap. Um, I don't want to wreak havoc on my system while I'm in a tournament. So it's just a good snack. Some some like to uh, get you know different nut mixtures. Um, I didn't want to mess with that today, so it's always easy to get some sort of uh, beef jerky or beef stick. So keep food going in your system, and I like to about every three or four holes have something um, just to keep even pace. Nothing extreme one way or the other. So. I am just 10 minutes away from the golf course and uh, wanted to get you updated. Check this out. 42 degrees. So what am I doing? I am at Walmart. Hand warmers. I got the, uh, <clears throat> the mittens um, from Callaway. So I'm gonna get some hand warmers and throw those babies in there because I'm a big baby when it comes to this temperature and uh, just extra warmth, just to be comfortable. All right, so these are out. However, thank you, Walmart, refillable hand warmer. No idea how well this works. Refillable lighter fluid, some lighter fluid. Well, let's give it a shot. It's been very good. Hey, what's up, Jeff man? Herman, how's it going? Nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Jeff, you're here. Uh, your group now goes to 1244, okay. all right? So you're going to be a same force if I just moved a couple people around. Cool. There's I've had no so much way. going on, yeah, but I yeah, checked the all boxes, all huh? Okay, yeah. I've, okay, all right, cool. Uh, and then we'll figure it out. We're going to go with that. Go ahead and put your information in here for me. And I use that to do the leaderboard, you know? Okay. So. Cool. And it's also kind of I've known you for how many years? Like, so to so speak. Okay. I used to wear shorts, too. Um, Today is so I have a YouTube channel. It wasn't like temperature so fat. many other golfers nowadays. Right. Are you okay being on it? Yeah. Okay, you're on it right now? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, when did the, this tour start? Oh, back in yeah, 2001. Got, yeah. What, it, what yeah, was the? I mean, I mean basically, oh, Lee, I can tell you. So it took me a few years to learn how to do it, you know. But we started in 2001. I've been doing it for 21 years now. But uh, it's sort of unique, as you can see. And uh, you know, we enjoy giving guys an opportunity to compete using their handicap versus the field. So. Yeah, for instance, you're a 7.9 and we got a plus 2.6 here. So, you know, you're going to get 10 and a half shots from this guy today. Right, which is good in this way. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, but that's basically it in a nutshell. You know, I mean, awesome. uh, we pay the same day, you know, the prize money goes into the fund and, and you know, everybody's make sure once every, all the money's in, you know, we pay out the same right. day. Right, that's awesome. Which, okay, all right. Is it. there any live leaderboard thing, that app or anything I need to yeah, use? Yeah, you know, no apps because I don't want you having to worry about a, putting a score into an app while you're playing golf. Okay. You know what I mean, first of all. Secondly, it's not it's not dependable. I can't trust somebody to make sure that this, all the scores are right that are in the app. So when you're done, and you sign your card and turn it in and it's an officially signed scorecard, that's when I'll uh, uh, post it on the live leader. And with the mighty thin lash of my three iron, which is a driving iron, U505, I kick off my professional tournament. All of 158 yards. So you'll see off to the right, I'm gonna show this throughout the video. Um, all the shots, it's gonna be a, long, a lot of shots. Um, unfortunately, you'll get to see that in the end. Um, but first hole, just trying to loosen up. When it's 37 degrees out, there is no loosening up. Um, so it's finding that uh, happy, relaxed medium that allows you to play as well as you can. My first two chip of the day, pulled out the putter. Much smarter move on that. one over 
at this point. All right, it's freezing. It's 37 degrees. Horrible off the tee box. One hole down. I'm one down. And I'm okay with that. I know some good guys. I like them. Shit, I don't know where. So, had some recording snafus with the GoPro, which will happen often during this tournament. Um, I pushed a three wood, fairly good three wood, went 245 at the wind, just pushed it right out, uh, right out of the fairway, but still felt good about it. Ended up in the sand, um, got out. Today, my sand play is pretty, pretty solid. And a nice little lag there. Run in and finish it real quick. Another bogey. So here's a fairly solid uh, struck three wood in the fairway. Or actually, it was left rough, but maybe by a yard. Um, felt really good about it. Started feeling good about my swing, even though it was so cold. And here I'm hitting a pitching wedge. Caught it a little chunky. And when you do that, the wind tends to push it right down and ended up in the bunker again. But as earlier, my bunker play is pretty solid. So I feel, felt good about that. Um, that is one of the strengths that I, I've always seemed to have um, as long as I'm focused. Another decent lag. Putting wise, I felt pretty good that day um, with some of the techniques that uh, that I've been working on. And there's the third bogey in three holes. Now here, kind of a little bit of uphill. Um, felt good about that. Another three wood. Not tempting myself with driver because I didn't need it. You can see where I'm at. That was a little thick on the uh, gap wedge, so I ended up short. However, short game was rocking off, off the uh, the first first of the game and uh, got it up close enough to where I had a nice little putt in. I think maybe I had a, about a foot. Oh boy. This hole, as you can see by the picture on the right, um, got up there. It was playing about 215 into the wind, mentally just messed up. The three iron put it right in the water, took a drop, and you can see by my reaction how well I hit that second attempt to get over the water. So my third attempt actually makes it over, but I was not gonna be short. Get up, got way over the back, chipped all the way across the green, got it back on the putting surface for one putt. This hole with a little heat behind it um, into the wind. Driver wasn't strong, but I was playing it as a, a full par five. Second shot um, didn't go as far as I wanted. Um, the recording was real glitchy because I somehow recorded it in time lapse and tried to speed it up to fix it. But um, the approach with my seven iron was a slight pull. Uh, the wind overemphasized it, but my next two chip of the day and how close can we get it in? So another one putt. <laughs> However, when you two chip, one putts don't really mean a lot. So driver, a little tight um, on the left side, had a slight pull to it, um, but uh, got, it, uh, got it down there pretty close with my second shot and chipped it up, but the chip wasn't too great. 
which left me with uh, probably about a 10 foot putt. And uh, I pulled it a slight, slightly still miffed by that uh, eight on the par three and uh, had a nice little three putt right there. This was um, probably one of my best shots off the tee box. There actually was a guy um, that was following the, the two, two guys I'm playing with and he was like yelling go in the hole. Obviously you can see by how short it was, it didn't. But I did lead up to my next two chip. I've lost track, is that three two chips now? Unbelievable. But with the putter, I got it in close um, for a little tap in. This one uh, had some nice wind on it and uh, I had I'd do this nice little swipey thing at times and pushed it to the right. Luckily, it stopped before out of bounds, um, left with a three hybrid. But as you can see, I hit it very poorly, all of 124 yards, leaving me about 110 in. I hit a lob wedge short, and then I hit another lob wedge over the bunker, feeling pretty solid about that. Uh, Nice little two putt from, I, was, I think it's around 15 feet. Quick tap in and we wrapped up the back or the front at 50. Yeah. Started off from the 10th, trying to re, kind of recenter myself, drive dead into the teeth of the wind. Um, I didn't hit it solid. As you can see, anytime it's hit weak, the wind will push it down. Um, did the same with a three iron. And my seven iron right here goes 135. It was a little heavy, but to only go 135, that's my 175 club. Again, in the bunker and out. Feeling really good about my sand game today. Nice little uh, short putt. I barely miss it by about an inch. Good putt, good read, just didn't go in. This is a fun hole. So I don't even know what happened. This is where I do this little swipey move. If I kind of rotate with my hips way too fast, right here, and just pull this snot out of it. Made it all of 145 yards into a big pile of mud. So I was lucky to be able to even hit it at all. Had my rain gear on already, so you get mud all over the place. Wasn't, wasn't a big deal, but this shot actually felt pretty solid about it. I had a chunk of mud on it, hit a six iron um, with the wind from the right to left, and had it. Felt that's probably one of the better shots of the day. It actually put me on the back of the green um, and probably had about 40 feet. So as you can see there, it is gonna be a three putt. Total misread. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it was gonna actually lead a little to the left, but guess what, there's water on the right, so why wouldn't it go towards the water? And with my second putt, I miss it by about an inch on the right and get it down onto the next hole. So a nice little par three um, into the teeth again. There were a lot of holes into the teeth. Um, so I'm hitting my three iron, which is usually about 220-ish. Um, landed short in the bunker. This is the worst bunker shot of the day. I, you can barely see it, but uh, the ball is just out of the lip and uh, putting, uh, putting snafu. Anyway, onto this shot. This was my worst hole. I mean, if you're cheating and you already see the score, um, I push it into the woods, had to drop. I cut a five iron around, but overcut it. And then going into the green, clipped a tree, and ended up catch us one, missed it by two inches. Nice little five foot putt, 
number two. Goes up to the hole, about stops to, for a tap in. <laughs> Wait for it. Yep. That's three. Wait for it. <laughs> oh. Four. I am not leaving this sucker short. Yeah, finally, tap in, five putt. I, I mean, honestly, I don't even remember the last five putt I had. It, I mean, at this point, I'm kind of laughing, but that's a 10. So I had an eight on a par three, a 10 on a par four. Yeah, I'm out of, I'm out of the competition at this point. Kind of threw me off, but hit a driver, um, bad. It was thin, ended up in the fairway pushed my um, approach shot and uh, had a decent chip. As you can see, probably about a six foot putt, barely missed it, two putts. Um, recovering from that 10, so, you know, just ending up with a bogey. I was all right with it, uh, not bad. So this is one of the better drives I've had today and what you can't see is it actually is fading to the right, ends up a foot out of bounds. It was a nice wide open shot still, but I had to go back, re-tee it. I ran back in front of someone, um, but uh, came back, hit a three iron heavy, and uh, left it 65 out with my sand wedge, hit a decent sand wedge, and had about a 28 foot putt here. Did pretty well with it. Ends up in tap in range and uh, another hold down. But because I was out of bounds, my bogey ends up being a triple. Ugh. All right, hole 16. One of the best drives of the day, even though it's only 263. I'm hitting into the wind um, just on off the uh, fairway. I'm playing it as a four, a full par five. So I just took a seven iron, got it down there because there was no way I was gonna attempt to try and hit a three wood into that hole. Um, hit a great sand wedge and this, this putt, oh, just barely misses. Just a hair outside. And a nice little cleanup here. So another bogey. Par three, into the in the win again. Hit a five iron 166. My five iron is my 205 club. End up short. Short game failed me a little bit. I left it. I just barely got it on the green, or if it would have been another two chip. But um, got up. It's probably about a 15 foot putt and uh, had a quick little tap in. But this is the, the, the best hole of the day um, with the wind blowing. You can see it actually into 23.3. I don't know why, still don't know why it showed because this was a tournament um, setting. But hit it 286 into the wind and had a three hybrid uh, to the green. I don't even know where this shot came from. It was one of the best shots followed by this putt, which was tremendous. Um, probably about a 32 foot putt and a uh, nice little cleanup. Tap in and there it is folks. So on the front, <laughs> I shot 50 with an eight on a par three. Two doubles, rest were um, old bogeys. Putting was decent, 15, 15 putts. The back uh, was worse. So you see some doubles and a 10, a 10. Seriously, who gets a 10? Who gets a 10? Anyway, um, the first professional tournament is in the bag. End up shooting, yes, that is 102. 
102. Uh, potential for an 89. Uh, it was, yeah, it is what it is. So, if you ever doubt that I'm being honest with you guys, I could have never shown this score and no one wouldn't have been any wiser, but I'm being completely open with where I'm at. Um, and right now it was shooting 102 on a day when it was 37 degrees and wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour. So folks, as always, keep it findable. Thanks for following. Click the like, click the subscribe, and be ready to watch out for some new videos coming soon. We'll talk to you guys later.